Welcome back to my another Macbuntu video and in this video I'm gonna show you how you can make your Ubuntu just like Mac OS Big Sur. Uh, before start I want to mention that this is a completely safe procedure you can change your theme anytime you want you can go back to default theme we're not gonna change your system it's just a theme like themes you have on your phone and I also want to mention that this is process will work on any GNOME version of Ubuntu like Ubuntu 20.04 or Ubuntu 20 or any other GNOME Ubuntu. So without any further ado, let's get started. So first of all, you will need all of these link. Uh, I'll provide them in the description below. So don't forget to check out the description and we'll need these links to download a bunch of files. Uh, so let's open all of them. Um, from there, we are gonna just uh, download uh, the theme files. So as you can see, Cupertino theme, theme big store, and it's for the cursor and it's for the dock. So now let's download them. So go to file section and uh, download uh, your uh, required file. So I'm gonna download this one and the uh, next one also. Uh, so let's download them. Okay, let's uh, create a new folder and uh, move this to theme. So after that, I'll uh, just uh, download these Cupertino icons. Okay. Uh, after that, uh, let's download the icon for cursor for our cursor. I'm gonna download the second one up and okay let's download it so after downloading them let's open okay let's create another folder we're going uh, we're creating folders uh, to track them because uh, uh, otherwise we will forget uh, which one is uh, for icon and which one is for theme so let's download the doc theme also okay we have uh, many option here which should we download okay let's download the second one and also let's download the first one and the third one okay let's download the white also you can uh, download uh, any of them i think uh, these three are okay for me uh, so let's create another folder for our doc and move them So here we have our uh, themes. So let's extract it here. So here is our first theme folder and also let's extract the second one also. Next, uh, let's extract uh, icons. Okay, let's extract the second one also and then let's extract our blank theme. so we have our themes now let's install the tweak tool gnome tweak tool uh, we're gonna need this tweak tool to change our theme uh, you have to go enter y and press enter So that's it. So now let's open our uh, tweak tool. Uh, as you can see, we have our tweak tool. So as we have our tweak tool, we can now move our downloaded folder to the system files. Uh, you need to press uh, go to home, then enter press uh, Control H to unhide uh, 
your hidden folders then you will see all hidden folders here and now oh, we have to create a folder for themes and icon make sure your spelling is uh, correct otherwise uh, your theme is not gonna work so we'll need uh, dot themes and dot icons and let's copy uh, our downloaded themes to the theme folder dot themes it's home slash dot themes and let's uh, copy our icons uh, for it's both for icon and cursor so let's copy both of them and copy them to icons dot icons folder so that's it uh, for icons and uh, theme so let's change it uh, using tweak tool so from here we can change our uh, installed uh, theme so let's change uh, the theme here from here uh, from appearance uh, you will get the option to change the themes uh, as you can see all default theme and our new installed theme so it's a big sur gtk and it's make um, big sur for cursor and also for so as you can see we have uh, changed our icons and theme uh, i don't like these icons i think we should change it let's change it to okay what should we select cupertin icon okay I, this one is good i think it looks good now let's uh, install google chrome if you don't have google chrome as i already have google chrome so i don't need to install it but i'm just showing you how you can do that uh, just uh, copy this command and uh, paste it in your uh, terminal uh, just open your terminal and then Control shift v to paste it uh, you will maybe have to enter your password uh, so as i as i already have installed uh, chrome so i don't need to install it again yeah, it's just showing that message uh, after that uh, i need to go to extensions.gnome.org and there from there i need to enable it uh, as you can see i have a warning here just uh, click on that uh, warning uh, click here and from here I will able to add the extension uh, Chrome extension and then just uh, add that extension you can turn on sync if you uh, if you logged in your uh, Gmail account uh, so from here you need to reload this and after reloading you will get that uh, get uh, option um, turn on and turn off option and you need to select install it will install that uh, extension um, if you install once you install that extension you can uh, change the shell uh, shell theme from here from uh, our uh, tweak tool as you can see uh, uh, earlier it was uh, disabled and now it's enabled so we can change our uh, big sur or mac theme here so that's it i think uh, we have our icon we have our shell we have our theme so uh, if you want to try other theme you can also do so just uh, go to that uh, gnome loop dot org and uh, from there you will get many theme here and uh, in the right side you will get the top uh, popular uh, themes as you can see big white big sword gtg is uh, very popular uh, so let's download it uh, i think it looks good uh, so let's download it also uh, let's uh, download the first one uh, you can just uh, 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 install one uh, i'm just showing you how you can do that uh, uh, do two or more theme so after downloading them uh, go to downloads why we have one here okay let's i think i downloaded two of them right okay let's download the first one again 
so we have uh, two more themes here uh, we just need to follow this uh, the old procedure again and uh, just extract it extract both of them just extract both of them extract here uh, we have two folders here just copy them uh, okay sorry for that uh, just copy them and move them to our uh, themes home slash dot themes uh, to do that you need to open files and then uh, home then dot themes that we just created here uh, and then paste it here so now we will be able to change uh, our uh, theme from our tweak tool let's restart that after restarting and go to appearance and from there you will get the you should get this white pixel light and dark option i think light one is good i'm just selecting the light one you can uh, use dark theme also if you wish uh, so i think this one is better right uh yeah dark one is also good uh, but uh, i think uh, the new version new mac was big white suit is uh, better than old old one so i'll keep it so now install uh, plank uh, so let's see how we can do that uh, okay we need to copy this command sudo apk install plank and now we need to open our uh, terminal again and just paste this uh, command y then enter again it will install plank doc in our system and just search plank after that you need to search plank it will and open it so as you can see it's not like mac uh, don't worry I, we're gonna change it you need to uh, go to our downloaded files uh, earlier we downloaded the uh, plank theme here so let's move them to the theme and just copy them and go to home then go to local then share then plank where is plank here it is so then theme then paste it here after you do that you can you should uh, be able to change the themes to be able to do that you need to open terminal then blank type blank space dash dash preferences and from here you can you will be able to change uh, your theme so we have our big mac os white you can uh, play around it uh, there is um, uh, you can customize your uh, dock from here and you can change the behavior i think intel hide is uh, okay with me uh, it will uh, hide your uh, dock whenever you are using a full screen web page or full screen map and let's add trash to our dock so that's pretty much it i think so now change uh, the sidebar uh, hide our sidebar as we already have dock we don't need it anymore to do that you need to go to open appearance uh, if you turn auto hide it won't hide uh, it will only hide when you're uh, when you're using full screen app uh, to hide it you need to make the icon size more than 50 so as you can see it's hidden right now and now close it okay let's close it let's download the uh, uh, background wallpaper okay let's uh, change our background go to downloads go and change or set it as a wallpaper so that's pretty much it i think so we have successfully set up our uh, theme and uh, our background picture also if you want to keep any app here uh, in your dock you need to have uh, enable that option from your dock so now you can see it's always here so now the next thing is minimize and unminimize animation to do that you need to go to this link 
uh, this guy developed uh, this animation here uh, from here down here you will get another option to install another link to install uh, it in your system uh, just uh, turn it on and uh, install it so after that uh, you can see the animation suite animation here uh, if you want to uh, customize this animation you can do so just uh, search uh, extensions and in there you will get uh, an option to change this animation and from here you can ch customize uh, this animation um, you can uh, change x tails or y tails and uh, uh, default or other settings so that's pretty much it So that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. If you do, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you didn't subscribe yet, don't forget to hit subscribe button also. And I'll try to uh, keep updating these videos, this type of videos. And uh, leave comment below if you want uh, any other videos from me. I'll try to upload them also. And see you later again. If you want to install macOS on your PC, check out my new video, the link will be in the description below and also you can click on the i button, it will be upper right corner of this video.